All right. Welcome aboard to episode 141 of the Flameflash.net podcast. That's right. I'm actually on a mildly acceptable schedule. Not too shabby, eh? So, thank you for joining me. While recording this time around, mostly just uh, doing some garrison upkeep stuff. You know, enjoying the uh, army of alts. Looks like I also have some expired mail to go pick up. But this way I'm able to focus on the news. On the news as it stands. Raptor report wise, we have World of Warcraft, naturally, and Terraria for the last two weeks. So, yes, it's not anything major. World of Warcraft news, to start anything out, the Cindermane Charger has been announced for the Recruit a Friend bonus. Neat. That works. Um. If you don't have anybody to invite, just wait and invite a friend. Or yourself, you know. Get the game on sale. That's all you really need to do. Then you put some time on and you're good to go. Sun got his first level 100. Yay! I'm so proud. Over on Muck of Mist, you can see the little uh, 6.1 selfie toy that I used to capture the moment. And definitely happy for him. He upgraded his garrison to level 3. And away he went. So that's really cool. Now, my priority for missions has been, um, what else can they give me, usually? I go for those first, and then it's all about upgrading the other followers as far as they can go. Not investigating any of the uh, follower drops this time around makes things I can't use faster this way, you know? Double checking, okay, he has uses to uh, trade cooldowns. Next character! The WoW token. So, Blizzard just announced this today, and you spend your real money on a $15 token, I would assume, 30 days, and post it to the in-game auction house. There's some kind of extra system around all of this, so it's not going to be a ton of undercutting. But, ooh, I can upgrade my camera. Yay! Have plenty of, um. So, oh no. $15? What does it translate to, is my question, though. My big question. What does it translate to? I don't think I did uh, Blinktron. Because if it translates to 2,000 gold, <laughs> that's way too low. Just what is that sweet spot? And that's the question waiting to find out and figure out. 
I'll do inventory cleanup later. So, we'll wait and see what the cost is. What the real cost is. Are they going to jack up the price of a 30-day token so it's $20? We just don't know anything except that it's coming. I pay money for gold, or you pay gold for in-game time. It seems like a fair, good deal. Just have to wait and Hello. see. See you around. So, wait and see, we will. New 3DS, Absence. Uh, the small one, Absence, finally been explained by Nintendo. It seems they were worried about messing up the market, confusing people. I'm a little offended that they think they would confuse people. But they're also probably a bit, um, what's the word, gun-shy about it at this point, thanks to their screw-up with the Wii U. So while it's disappointing, I understand it. Still want the uh, regular sized one. I'm still going to wait for the regular sized one. So they can just bite me. Over in the PC realm. Sid Meier's Starships has been announced. Launching uh, sometime this month? Sometime in March? I think it was March 13th. So that's, that's pretty cool. You are worthy. Uh, it's going to be cheap, supposedly. So it's something I'm going to probably spend a little fun money on and try it. I really liked beyond Earth, regardless of what the uh, consensus was about it, I quite enjoyed it. So, I might as well give it a shot. You know? Whoops, I now have two of them. Oh well, I can sell one. But that's my plan, at least. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. It sounds like fun. I'm interested. May as well. Yeah, you can interest me in height. You can also interest me in... Give me access to a bank. So, we'll wait and see. It's going to be cheap. Seems worthwhile to pick up. Clay Fighter is going to be remastered. Remember that one? It's certainly no um, Street Fighter, but it was fun. I'm probably not going to pick it up, just because it is more fighter. And Street Fighter really feels that uh, niche for me. But it's neat that it's coming back. Now, here's a kind of... What? GameStop is out hunting for PlayStation 2s. What dastardly plan do they have for old PS2s? I just don't understand. To find something? I feel like... There's definitely... Excuse me, evil intent. Just can't, you know, easily identify said evil intent. Oh well. Safe travels. Hopefully it's less evil than I 
think it's going to be. I have a lot of cookies on me. Oh well. Back to the garrison. For a character I don't play very often, this one doesn't have many bag space options. Weird. Hmm. I'll correct it later. So... Out in, um, other items, rather than gaming, a 500-year-old map has, uh, been brought up, or out. And I'm interested. It shows Antarctica without ice. It definitely blows the mind as far as the potential there. The, the show notes, we'll talk about it better, more intelligently. I just think it's really neat that there's proof out there we were somebody or something was mapping the planet that long ago. It shows mountains that weren't quote unquote discovered until the 1950s. Quite awesome. In our uh, realm of entertainment, DuckTales. DuckTales is slated for a return. I'm going to turn down the music real fast. Or turn it off. There we go. Might as well do that to everything. There we go. So, DuckTales 2017, a reboot. I'm actually excited for that by a lot. Why? Because it's DuckTales. Woohoo! It just sounds like fun to share that legacy of a story with the kids. Alright, so how about some disturbing news. The uh, CIA black site in Chicago, or the similar-ish to a CIA black site in Chicago out there. Just kind of... All the news that's coming out regarding it says this is extremely bad news. These people basically disappear there. It's scary. I mean, that shouldn't be happening here in the United States. Just shouldn't be. And it is. Something horribly, horribly wrong about that. Horribly wrong. I already killed the other one. I just... I'm... dumbstruck by it. It just... People tortured, even killed in the quote-unquote interrogation rooms? Something really wrong about that. Horribly wrong. It scares the crap out of me. I just does not compute. If it can, if they can pull that off in Chicago, where else 
might these exist? Where else might people be missing like that? I just, uh, okay, let's, let's happy news, happy news, happy news. The FCC has overruled laws blocking municipal broadband. Yeah, that's not what you were expecting me to talk about. I cheered the uh, president pushing for this the other day, or last time. It's nice to see the FCC making it official. I greatly appreciate that. Net neutrality. FCC. Excuse me. Dropped two nice bombs. You know, their ban on states getting involved in banning municipal only applies to two states. Only two states went and jumped into the pocket of Comcast. But now no other states can. And you know that they were Comcast was pressing for it in other states. It'd be silly for them not to if they were able to pull pull it off in two. But net neutrality for now is protected. Now I say for now because there's still Congress. Congress could still get involved and do something really funky. And then we're probably back to square one. But we'll just have to wait and see. So, how about them uh, New Yorkers, eh? They're enjoying this blast of Arctic air at the moment. And then they're off destroying electronic records. The state of New York is being, I think it was the state or is it the city? I believe it's the state. They're being required, yeah, New York State, to purge electronic records. I think the records can only be, say, 90 days old. What a great way that is supposedly cost-saving to um, remove the chance possibility of leaks or somebody getting a hold of, you know, hacks. It's amazing, really. My hat is off to them. It's a great way to hide all of that crap. And they're making sure that it stays not on the public radar this way. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! And finally, and the reason I'm, by the way, not reading these is because I've already read them. Hey, look at that. I think I got a new, yep. I got an upgraded neck. Leonard Nimoy passed. Peace and long life. And with that, I'll go ahead and close FlamFlash.net episode 141. Without Leonard Nimoy, there wouldn't be a need for this. It would be different. I wouldn't be recording to 
a game. I would be possibly recording to something else. Or not at all. I mean, without gaming, without geekiness, I might not have been inspired at all. Kind of amazing to think about. Very amazing to think about. So, this was FlameFlash.net Podcast, episode 141. Is this a good new format of trying to, quote-unquote, stream while um, recording? Is it too distracting? Am I too distracted? I certainly feel like I'm too distracted, but this is supposedly the way things go now. Not that I have to, but it does help to have... uh, Oh, I love those yaks in World of Warcraft. If you don't have a yak, go get a yak. They're fun. Look at them bounce. Look at the happy yak. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> but just let me know. Flame Flash or uh, podcast at flameflash.net is where you would write in. So I am interested in hearing what everyone has to say on the matter. For now, I will sign off. Good night.